By 1972, the Jackson 5 were already pop icons, and the older members of the band had become young adults who dreamed of marrying and starting families of their own. The first was Tito, who married his high school sweetheart, Dolores Martez. I met my wife when I was 14. She went to Fairfax High with me. I remember the first time she kissed me, and it was my birthday, and she gave me a birthday kiss. And from there, everything is history. We dated for four years during high school and uh, got married a week out of high school. I was 18. No one uh, wanted me to be married, and at 18, when you're in love, you're in love, and no one can say no. I'm very happy that I did marry. I got three beautiful sons from it, and uh, they're my pride and joy, and that's the best thing that ever happened to me. In 1973, Jermaine Jackson married Hazel Gordy, daughter of Motown president Barry Gordy. The first time I met Hazel Gordy, I was in awe. I was so impressed of a young lady who had it together. I called my father. My mother answered the phone, and I told her that I wanted to get married. And he didn't come to the phone. <laughs> I'll never forget. Her father gave us a wonderful wedding at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and it was international press and everything, and that's one of the most memorable moments of my life. Me getting married at 19 wasn't like the most popular thing because my father felt that, you know, he was losing us. As you know, everyone wants to get married at some time or another. But I felt the boys should have waited a little while longer so they can get got, so they gotten established more better than what they are, and, you know to be ready for the marriage life. The Jacksons married off one by one, basically to gain control of their lives. They pretty much had control as entertainers. They had control as public figures. But personally, I don't know that there was a lot of personal control and individuality. I think at some point these guys wanted this, and that's what brought those marriages on. While Jermaine and Tito settled into married life, two more Jacksons decided to tie the knot. Jackie Jackson married Enid Spann in 1974. Then, the following year, Marlon eloped with Carol Parker. I met my wife when I was 12 or 13 years of age. Matter of fact, Michael introduced me to her. We were just friends. That's all. We were real close friends. She lived in New Orleans. I lived in L.A. We got married at 18. We eloped. Some people didn't want us to get married, and uh, I didn't tell my parents until, what, three months later, something like that. <laughs> I told my mom, I, just, I let her handle that part of it. I didn't care, I wasn't living at home, I was away, you know. And she said, Marlon, I, I thought you were. To tell you the truth, I was real sad when they, each one of them, when they left home. In fact, when my oldest left home, Reedy, I cried for two weeks. That was the first time that uh, a child left the house and got married, so uh, it was sad for me. And the same thing with the other kids as they grew up and got married. It was just sad to see him leave because I just came right out of my mother's house, got married into the house with my husband. I've never been alone, but each one left, left an emptiness in me. I felt just a little bit more lonely. Catherine hated to see the kids go, but she was also looking forward to grandkids. As far as Joe was concerned, it was about the act. And he saw many of the marriages as an infringement on the possibility of the group going further. The Motown staff felt that by me marrying, I would lose fans. I can understand that, but at that time, life wasn't just Motown and the Jackson 5. I used to drop her hand when I used to see fans or fans come along because it's what was told to me. You know, I wish I wouldn't have done it now looking back and as I get older because I'm a human being I'm a, and I'm a person. I have emotions, I have a feelings, and, and I'm just I'm no different than you or anybody else. The mid-70s were a really interesting time for the Jacksons because the kids were growing up. They wanted to be able to say what they wanted to say. They were really constricted by Motown's very specific kind of uh, issues. Uh, the Motown just wanted them to sing about being kids, and they were too old to do that. Motown recognized that and were basically ready to put them out to pasture. Although Motown had guided the Jackson 5 to much success, the band wanted more freedom for creative expression. Aware their contract at Motown was almost up, Joe Jackson looked to greener pastures. Mr. Jackson wanted broader, bigger horizons for his sons. He also wanted to write, and Motown wouldn't give them the creative freedom at the time. I wanted the boys to be able to write and produce some of their own songs. It just so happened that one of the other companies offered me that. 
And so uh, since my contract was uh, up at Motown, I just went on signed. But while Michael, Tito, Marlon, and Jackie accepted the new direction their father had his sights on, Jermaine decided to stay with Motown. Then the media would say, oh, well, he's, he's married to the boss's daughter. That's why he stayed. And that didn't have anything to do with it, because Hazel and I, we sat down, and she said, I said, I'm married to you, not the business. If you go, I'm still with you. And that was, and we had, had that understanding from day one. But that's the reason why I stayed. I'm a very loyal person. And I felt that that was good enough. We all respected that decision. But um, it, it was always made the point that whenever he wants to return and come back, the door is always open. There was a big hush across America when Jermaine decided that he was going to stay with Motown and the family was going to move on. It was big news. Joe Jackson said, uh, it's my blood that runs through your veins, Jermaine, not Barry Gordy's. It was the first time that the family was not so much a family. Barry Gordy gave us something, which was gave us that road to success. But everybody plays an important part, but I would never, ever put Barry before my father. I mean, they're two great men, and everybody serves a, a purpose. In May of 1975, a year before the Jacksons' contract with Motown expired, Joe Jackson signed the four boys to Epic, a division of CBS Records. It was a very hefty, very frightening time, even more frightening than 1969 when they moved to California. A whole world of uncertainty. It was kind of a scary time for me and uh, for the other children, too, because Motown was like a home, and they all loved the company and they all loved Barry Gordy and all the Motown people were like family and when the kids left I said they're gonna really miss Motown it was sad to be truthful it was really sad and the saddest thing about it was Jermaine didn't come with us my love never changed for them I'm one way all all the time whether they may have felt a certain way towards me because I didn't do what they would they wanted me to do but I'm still your brother I'm I'm you're still in my heart I mean this is just a business, but we're going to be brothers forever.